Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the 22nd episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Crimo. That's right. So, we're getting into the match versus Manchester City, and as you can see, our team is extremely tired. Like, we have no stamina, per se. So, it's going to be a real struggle this game. Um, yeah, so we're playing against Manchester City in the Premier League. So, hopefully we can go along and uh, ensure we can get a victory. So... In the League of Leagues, Man City are around, I think, like, 14th, so it's been quite a shockingly poor season from them. But yeah, let's get into this match, and hopefully we can grab a victory. Alright guys, so, we're playing against Manchester City, so, at the moment, uh, Manchester United are four points ahead, however, the key is that we do have one game in hand, so, to put it simply, we cannot afford, really, to mess up, in all honesty. Yeah, uh, Manchester City have a very solid team. They're going to be difficult to play against. Um, they're really an incredible team. Like, they always do terrible in uh, career mode simulations or stuff, which makes no sense to me, but they're still a really solid team. Alright, so, look of our lineup. Uh, Shalaba, Shrevers, Gonzalez, Noble, and Ake come in. Got a bunch of great players on the bench, but simply put, we are really having salmon issues. So for Manchester City, they're lining up in a 4-3 with a striker. So Fernando, Fernandinho, De Bruyne, Sterling is a really good team. Gundogan and Silva are on the bench. Quite surprising, but yeah, let's get into this. It's Shalaba! Off the post, but it's a penalty either way. And it's Fernando... Who's giving it away? Brilliant turn by Nathaniel Shalaba there, but he is indeed taken down, and it's a deserved penalty. So now it's gonna be Mishi. It's gonna be Mishi. Oh, it's in! Oh, so close! But we managed to put it in to the back of the net. Huge goal. 24 minutes in. Bravo pretty much almost got something to it, but it was a perfect penalty. And in all reality, the keeper stood no chance. Great finish from Mishi, and we indeed establish a 1-0 lead. It's Mishi. Completely loses out in the header. Shot long! Oh my, I thought that was in for sure. Kalechi. Almost Kalechi for them. And there we go, it's halftime. We lead 1-0. We've been okay at the moment. Um, but I will be making two changes in all honesty. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap Noble into CDM. I'm going to switch on Almiron. Then I'm going to switch in um, Triori for Bashuai. And then Kennedy for Gonzalez. So... It's a triple substitution, even though I said it was fine, but simply put, we were really just lacking stamina, so we would have tired as the game went on. Ooh! Yowza, that's gotta be a foul. And Sane, oh come on, really, ref? You, 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 could, you gotta be able to give something for that. And, okay, good play, Kalishi. And Ake is, yeah, that that's a definitive uh, yellow there. Okay, that's gotta be... Y you what, ref? I, I got the ball. Alonzo got the ball there. Look at this, he got the ball. How is that... The shot! Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is a bad shot from Sané. We managed to grind out a narrow 1-0 victory over Manchester City. Put it simply, uh, our stamina is starting to become a huge issue. We have a decent amount of players, man, but we we need to do well. Like we need to really start getting among the goals because we are starting to struggle. All right, guys. So uh, we are going to be moving into second game of the episode versus, of course, Porto in the Europa League quarter final. So I did skip the Bournemouth game, but to be honest with you, that was the third game in about six days, and at that point, I knew, to put it simply, that was just going to be uh, almost sheer torture to actually play, because 
I'm not playing with like a bunch of 50 overalls, so I managed to simulate it and first try, I promise you, actually managed to get a victory with pretty much almost like a basic just throw it out there team, so um, yeah, very happy that, but we're running our usual Europa League team, is at full stamina for once, and uh, yeah, let's just get into the match. One player who I think has been a very good addition is uh, Ryan Chalkross, but I'll elaborate on that later. Alright, so we're moving into the Europa League quarterfinal versus Porto. So, I want to talk about one player in particular, and that is Ryan Shawcross. He's actually been an absolutely amazing defender for us. Honestly, he's really short up the defense uh, when, in all honesty, we needed it, like, really badly. So, yeah, just uh, very happy with his performance, and uh, great to see he's doing very well. We haven't been able to make the most glamorous additions in all honesty, but the additions we've made have been extremely important. As I like Nishi, but Gabriel, he's just, just at another level. But yeah, talking about the Porto lineup, so they have uh, Leun, uh, Pereira, Andre... Do they have Alex Telles? Uh, no, Leun instead, okay. They're playing a 4-1-2-1-2. Two, two. Now we have a bit of an opportunity to, I would say, boss them in the midfield. For us, uh... It's the usual Europe League lineup. Uh, pretty much no changes to it. And uh, yeah, it's a 4 3 false 9. Let's just get into this match and hopefully we can uh, secure a victory. The shot. Triori has it blocked. Now nice shot across. Just gonna head it across now over to Masanda. Traore! Birch on Traore! 16 minutes in! We establish the lead. A beautiful pass by Almiron. And slides it right over to Traore, who takes a Tom. Great finish. And slots it in to the side netting there. No chance for the keeper. Well, actually, in all honesty, if the keeper had dived, maybe he could have got to that. But let's ignore that. Good goal. Good finish by Birch on Traore there. And yeah, we take the lead early on. That was a totally unnecessary foul. Oh my, oh, 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 no, no, off the, oh, no, okay, we've conceded. Uh, uh we deserve to concede there. That was, that was a good play. Porto, man, they've been, like, really tough to play against. Shot finished in! Oh. It's gonna be boot along. Okay, it's half time. We've played decent. Uh, it's 1 1. It's a fair result so far. I don't really want to change things at the moment. Alright, so now we're moving into second half. Can we get a key goal and hopefully achieve a great result? Let's try or No, 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 no! Try or a. Honestly, his composure is horrific. We're getting a bucket load of chance. Oh, why are you, like, just... Finish in! Mm -hmm. The finishing is not good enough. I should really be recycling the ball more. Shaw cross again. Can he win this? Comes up clutch. Oh, again, Tebow. We just can't get out of our half right now. Okay. Okay, it's a 1-1 draw. Nah, it's a decent result in all honesty, uh, given the fact that we are indeed going to be... Uh, having them in the home leg, but this was really tough, in all honesty. Yeah, this this was uh, not easy. This was not easy. So yeah, um, at the moment, pretty pleased to get the result that we did. Uh, and we could easily go through on away goals at the moment. So yeah, um, I want to thank you guys for uh, watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we got a Manchester United, and then Porto in the Europa League. So what a banger of an episode it will be. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And yeah, I will see you guys later.
Peace.